Reconstructive memory is the idea that memory is pieced together using information from schema rather than reproduced like a video recording. A schema is a package or framework of stored information. We use this information to process the world around us by comparing things against it. We also use schema to help us understand new experiences and update our schema when th we learn new things. So through reconstructive memory, when we try to recall something, we search for relevant information in our schema to piece the memory back together. This often results in errors in our memory, which support the idea that it's reconstructed rather than replayed. For example, it's common to forget things, but this can cause problems when missing information disrupts the memory and stops it making sense. To overcome this issue, we often unintentionally fill the gaps with false information. This is called confabulation. Without the missing information, the memory doesn't make sense, so we fill the gaps, resulting in inaccurate memories. It's also more difficult for us to remember things that are unfamiliar or unbelievable to us. If a piece of information doesn't make sense to us, our brain often takes the lazy option and changes these details to something more believable, again resulting in inaccurate details in the memory. This is called rationalisation. Finally, if a piece of information is missing from our schema, but the memory still makes sense without it, we often just leave it out. This makes the overall memory shorter, while still making sense, therefore this is called shortening. Reconstructive memory is a useful theory to help us understand the problems with memory, and therefore can be applied to things such as eyewitness testimonies. As a result, eyewitness testimonies are rarely the only evidence used to convict someone of a crime. Despite these positive applications of the theory, there are also weaknesses. For example, not all memories are impacted in these ways. If an event is personally significant to someone, they are more likely to remember it accurately, regardless of how it fits in our schema. The same applies to details that are so unusual, they actually become more memorable, therefore weakening the idea of rationalisation.